Hello there folks, my name is Spooks and welcome back to another episode of Box Office Chat. This is the show where I break down the top 5 domestic box office results, see where each movie landed and see how well each movie did, so let's get started. Number 5 was A Man Called Otto, making $8.8 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $35 million and a worldwide total of $55 million. So the film actually was able to hold off pretty well, it just dropped 31% from last weekend, which given the audience it's going for, that is pretty notable. And another good thing about this is that the fact that it was able to surpass its entire $50 million budget worldwide, it still has like around maybe a little over $20 million to get to that point domestically but hey if it continues to hold as well as it has been uh for the past couple weeks and maybe this is a good sign for things to come for it then i could see it surpassing it again i'm still a bit on the hesitant skeptical side on doubling it i'm just not sure if it's gonna have that type of staying power again it could end up doing what Lyle Lyle Crocodile did, you know, eventually getting to the doubling point. Uh, but I think this, we're going to have to play the waiting game for the doubling point here on this one. But still, this movie is still doing a pretty decently for itself. It's not a groundbreaking big blockbuster of the year by any means, but given it's a man called Otto, and once again, how it's much more skewering towards an older audience, and we're in uh, very much the slow point of the year, uh, early in the year, I might add, uh, this is still pretty notable and pretty decent numbers all around. Number four was Missing, opening with $9.1 million this weekend domestically, and that total stays the same worldwide as it hasn't been released in any international countries as of yet. So not much really to say here, it pretty much met my expectations, it wasn't going to knock anyone's socks off, and it wasn't really going to flop. The marketing was there, buzz was there, reviews were good, and I think that contributed a bit more to the success, but yeah, I just didn't feel like this was going to do anything really special. The benefit to this film, however, is the fact that it only costed $7 million, and once you know it, it's already made that back, and it's for sure going to double it by the end of this week so it's guaranteed going to be a box office success for sure um and i'm sure everyone who worked on this movie and the studio are very happy to see this movie performing as good as it is right now but yeah not much more else to add here we'll see how it holds in the coming weeks it did get a b on cinema score which is a bit concerning you know uh so we'll see if that affects the film in any way but yeah as far as its opening it's off to a pretty modest start Number three was Megan, making $9.7 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $73 million and a worldwide total of $124 million. So Megan continues to impress and become the box office juggernaut that it is, you know, for a horror film, as it only dropped 49% this weekend, which, you know, once again, for a horror film, that is pretty outstanding and thus it has become the first film of the year to surpass a hundred million worldwide which is absolutely incredible this movie has just gone above and beyond the profitability line there's just no way this movie doesn't make all the money it needs to uh and on the domestic side it is just less than 30 million away from surpassing that milestone i think it's got a shot it's not going to blow past that line but i do believe it's going to get very close or at the very least get over the line just a bit you know because again this is a horror film and it's probably slowing gonna start slowing down a bit given that there is another horror film by m night Shyamalan coming out in a couple weeks and i feel like that's gonna steal a bit of this film's audience so that's a bit concerning but even still this movie is still doing just so well and again it is just leaps and bounds above the profitability line that no matter what this movie is just successful and will continue to be successful so yeah another solid weekend for megan we'll continue to see how bigger and better it becomes as a box office juggernaut but yeah megan is still in a good place right now 
Number two was Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, making $11 million this weekend, adding to a domestic total of $126 million and a worldwide total of $297 million. Another very special weekend for Puss in Boots, as not only did it have the best hold out of any of the films in the top five, just dropping 18% from last weekend, absolutely outstanding hold, but it was able to get the jump on Megan and return to the number two spot, which again is outstanding, also given the fact that it has already surpassed and is about to surpass a couple milestones. First off, it has surpassed Lightyear to become the second highest grossing animated film of last year domestically and worldwide, finally, thankfully. And worldwide, it is about to surpass $300 million, which would make it the second animated film from last year to do so, obviously behind Minions The Rise of Gru, which is Again, very exceptional. What else is there to say? Word of mouth continues to help this movie out. It's been able to maintain over $10 million through each consecutive week, nonstop. Just absolutely incredible run at the box office. I haven't seen a movie hold this well since probably Top Gun Maverick, and it's all also pretty interesting to compare this to The Croods too, because they're both they were both movies that had very solid holds, and the fact that they were also not only from the same studio DreamWorks, but also the same director. So that's another neat little tidbit. What else is there to say? Puss in Boots continues to dominate. It continues to exceed all of the expectations we'll see how much further it can go but yeah overall another solid weekend for puss in boots the last wish and i look forward to continue seeing how much further it can go and finally let's end the video off with the number one movie of the weekend which was for the sixth week in a row avatar the way of water making 20 million this weekend adding to a domestic total of 598 million dollars and a worldwide total of two billion dollars well folks it did it i don't know how i don't know why but it did it avatar the way of water surpassed two billion dollars ladies and gentlemen against all odds all the naysayers and even some skepticism regarding its opening the film was able to become James Cameron's third film ever to gross over $2 billion, which is absolutely insane. And keep in mind, folks, my hopes were a lot higher than most people uh, during its opening weekend. Even, even I was skeptical about this movie surpassing its milestone. There was just, in my opinion, some factors that were hurting it, but... I have to admit, I was wrong. People clearly love this movie, and they're clearly enjoying watching this movie again and again and again. We'll see how much further, further this movie can get to. It's certainly not going to surpass the first Avatar. That's just that's just out of the question. But it will be interesting to see if this movie can surpass the first Titanic. You know, if it manages to do that then it will continue to prove everybody wrong and how to never bet against james cameron but on the domestic side of things it's also proving to still do very well it is just two million dollars away from surpassing the 600 million dollar milestone domestically which again given the time this video comes out it probably will already have done so so congratulations already and i uh, gotta be honest even with me admitting i was wrong about two billion dollars i'm still going to remain skeptical on this movie surpassing uh top gun maverick it is starting to slow down and given now we are coming up on february and we're about to see an onslaught of blockbusters i feel like we are definitely going to start seeing this movie getting uh i won't say thrown to the wayside but lose steam not not in a significant way mind you but definitely lose a bit of steam uh for sure so i think that's what's going to hurt it the most in regards to beating top gun domestically but still this movie has just done so well and so much better than expected i cannot even believe how immaculately 
big and gigantic this movie is i'm just throwing words out pretty much because again i wasn't expecting this movie to surpass two billion dollars worldwide and i thought the movie was going to do pretty well in regards to that first opening weekend so yeah overall another solid weekend for avatar the way of water and other related news uh people need to drink water to survive water is wet food is fuel <laughs> uh but yeah uh another solid weekend for avatar not much more else to add here just good job and those were your top five domestic box office results for this weekend and normally this would be the part of the video where i discuss the upcoming new films hitting theaters this weekend and seeing where i think they would land in the top five but as far as i know there's nothing really major hitting theaters this weekend i know infinity pool and fear are coming out but given the lack of marketing and buzz i've seen for either of them i don't think they're going to be able to crack the top five unfortunately so there very well might not be a box office chat uh next week but if one of those movies does manage to crack the top five or there's a big shuffle in the current top five maybe some movies get the jump on one another i'll be sure to discuss where those movies land on the next box office chat and that's gonna do it for this week's episode of box office chat what did you all think of the results were you satisfied unsatisfied comment down below and let me know if you like this video hit the like button if you like this channel hit the subscribe button follow me on all the social media links right there and until next time everyone stay sharp